Hey, what up, y'all? This is on South Africa Cali MC. Mm. I wanted to share with y'all this concept, this whole Africa Cali thing that we've been trying to build and you know work upon. But anyway, um, I think you know I came to America in like '95. I was doing all hip hop. Like, man, did I love hip hop? Even got a deal for it. Made some money from it, you know. Uh, but anyway something happened in the process where I started I was introduced to live music live bands and, and things and such and uh, um, I think it was through Naresh Michael that you know what I'm saying Naresh was a bandunion player played guitar we did a, a, a sound a, a sound stage on the Africa channel he was actually a big part of that you know in organizing the music arrangements and different things like that which was killer man that ran for five years on Comcast Xfinity so Anyway, um, in 2011, I think it was, me, Naresh, um, and Isaiah, Isaiah Lloyd was uh, the brother that also did the Africa, the Africa channel with us, but Isaiah was a punk, came from punk background, so he knew bands like Living Color, Fishbone, man, you know, and uh, that brother was like real adamant about Fishbone, I think, one time. So I started listening to this to this uh, uh, black punk music and getting more into it, introduced to it, you know. And um, he, he had talked about how Fishbone had not performed in Oakland in like, I forgot, in, in over 10 years or something like that. Because they had a contract with Slims in, your, uh, uh, in San Francisco. <coughs> My bad, I'm remembering this shit too. But anyway, so what wound up happening was I had a friend that had worked with Fishbone, Greg Booth. Greg was an ex-manager of Fishbone, I think, uh, part of the management team. And Greg made it happen out of conversation, man. Like, literally put the show together. <laughs> and all I asked was that we take part, we get booked, you know. And anyway, we get booked as part of that show. And uh, in my hip-hop, in terms of the recording, I was, I was falling in love with like Afrobeat music, you know, reintroducing myself to more of African music, the Hugh Masekelas and different things like that. Cause I had missed home, man, you know, it, it had been like 15 some years that we were here, so uh, music was a good reminder of what home is, you know, how it felt. So, always felt good. Mary and Makiba, you know, Lucky Dube, Brenda Foster, you know, I listened to it all, man, <clears throat> all kinds of African music. But uh, anyway, to keep going. So in 2011, we did the Fishbone show. And uh, Angela Moore really fell in love with Naresh. Naresh Michael, who's passed since now. But uh, Naresh played the Bandanyun as part of that show. And uh, the squeeze box is why Ange called it. He loved that. And uh, uh, so through that, we were invited, man, to go play at this show, to go hang out, actually, which is what we did at this Nakarubi Festival in Big Sur, which was put together by Nico Gilles. And uh, Nico's like surf, surf rock background, you know, heavy in surf rock. Uh, Sky Country is the name of his band, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> so we went down there, got to check them out, uh, was messing with, Lagos Roots, which is an Afrobeat band with members of Fela's band out here. But sometimes, you know, sometimes they let me jump on stage, you know, Jaffrey, what up? Let me do my thing, you know? And it was always beautiful, so <clears throat> they were part of that festival. They headlined Saturday and Fishbone headlined Friday, I think. And uh, anyway, we got to enjoy it. And during the day, somehow, Nico was playing his set and they, they did like an African fusion, or at least that's what it sounded like to me, you know. So we got to jump on with the brother man and really vibe out. So we met on stage, met through, through doing the live. And uh, I was inspired to like organize a tour, I think, which is like the Africali experience, uh, plus uh, Audio Pharmacy who headlined the tour with us. But anyway, <clears throat> so that August, I think the show was in uh, Nakabubi was for last week of June, so like uh, August, I organized a tour. We put together parts of his band, parts of my band, and uh, by now, the rest had passed, man. So it was like many moons, you know. 
<clears throat> but anyway, so we got the jam, got down, uh, built struggle, <laughs> which is still a struggle. That song's taking so long to mix right, to finalize and everything, you know. But it is an example, I think, in terms of what, what Africali sound is, you know, just merging the, the, the many different cultures and backgrounds, you know, and trying to find something different. I, I don't think we need to go more digital in music. I just think there's still a lot to, to a lot in the live sound, you know, there's still a lot. And, and with me, it resonates longer. And, and, and that might be because of that South African fucking string, you know, string influence we all come from. But anyway, man, it's been beautiful. The The reviews have been nice about the struggle. I'm thankful, thankful to y'all. Thank, thanks to anybody that enjoy it. Go to soundcloud.com backslash AfriCali, A-F-R-I-C-A-L-I. Soundcloud.com AfriCali, or you go to AfriCali.com, and you can check out some of our music. Thank y'all for taking the time. Hopefully you get this right, and this makes sense. Love, love.